Well, get on with it. These meaningful glances have got me on the edge of my seat. <laughs> well, for you to really understand, I, I have to go back to the beginning. My marriage to Dahlia was always troubled. We were aware of some tantrum. It was more than that. I had to travel all the time for business, which made Dahlia very unhappy. She spent so much time alone in our house with no one to talk to but our maid. And at some point, Dahlia began to realize that Opal was actually in love with her. And so, one uneventful afternoon, Dahlia decided she would seduce Opal. And then, to hurt me, Dahlia began leaving clues for me to find, so I'd know she was having an affair. I'm so sorry to interrupt this really extraordinarily tawdry tale, but what does it have to do with us? He's getting to that. Dahlia felt that it wasn't enough for me to be jealous, that, that my humiliation would not be complete until I knew who my rival was. So she decided to tell me on our way to a Chamber of Commerce luncheon where I was going to get an award. I was driving when it happened. Out of the blue, she just turned to me and said, Wait a minute. I remember that luncheon. We were invited but couldn't go because we were celebrating Barrett's birthday. Oh, my God. We were driving past the park when Dahlia turned to me and said, I'm having an affair with Obo. And I took my eyes off the road for one second. <laughs> it was an accident. 